Hello everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders Power BI channel. So today I'm going to do tutorial number 58 which is date add and weekday dax function in Power BI with a very simple example and I'll show you a use case as well of using date add and weekday dax functions. So let's go to the tutorial. Press subscribe and click the bell icon so you will never miss any Power BI updates from Geek Decoders. Right, so my uh, data sheet contains salesperson, item, sales value, sales date, feedback and sales country columns. And uh, today mainly I'm using sales date uh, column for this demonstration. And you can download this data sheet, the link is mentioned in the description section. Right, so first, uh, you know, uh, to demonstrate weekday function, here go to table tools and create a new column right so here we use test weekday very simple functions these are so here you can write weekday here it says return a number from 1 to 7 identifying the day of the week of a date so here I can give input as sheet 1 sales date and date and here I can give one, one means Sunday through to Saturday is seven. So then two, op there are options. So Monday is one, Saturday is seven. Likewise, so you can have options. So I'll here select the option number one. Right, so as you can see, Friday it display as six, Thursday it display as five, Sunday it display as one. So this is the functionality of the weekday function. Right now we'll test uh, date add function. So create a new column. We can write test date add here. Then you can say date add. So here, as you can see, moves the given set of dates by a specific interval. So if you give a date here, you can you know uh, move the given date so you can you know move given dates by an interval let's say we give a interval as one so what will happen and here you have to give what sort of interval we give it as day so here a one date is been added here January 31st so here it adds one date and showing it as February 1st February 22nd 27th so it is uh, add a one date and showing as February 28th so here we can give minus dates as well so here I will use minus interval right so here January 30th 31st so then the date add function so we can give a minus date interval in here so then it will give January 30th so this is the functionality of date add function right so now I'll show you a small use case of this weekday and date add function so here go and create a new column here the use case is I'm going to find start date of the week so here I will use date add dex function date twice input date I'll give sales date dot date so that is a date input and number of intervals so I want to backdate it and find the start day of the week here I will give minus 1 multiplied by here I will use weekday dex function date shields 1 sales date date and then I will use 1 right uh, as the return and interval I want to have day intervals let's see what will happen in this use case here as you can see I want to find the start date of the week I will use date add dex function as input I will give the sales date the row date and I will multiply this is the interval I will multiply it by weekday dex function so weekday dex function will return an uh, integer here it will uh, multiply it by minus 1 so it will give a minus entry and here I want to have it in dates so let's see the output right as you can see start date of the week so here January 31st then it comes as 
January the start day of the week is first of January 25th uh, 25th of January so then February 27th means it's the week start week start day of the week is February 22nd so here a good example let's say March 15th and March 16th so here as you can see the start date of the week is the same because these two dates is started on a same week so you can categorize your date according to the weeks by using this use case so I hope you get a clear understanding about date add and weekday functions and please comment if you have any questions and thank you for watching please subscribe my channel for daily power bi updates